Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Synology NAS. In this video specifically, we're going to show how you can install Synology Photos and how you can configure the Synology Photos either for a local user, which all the users in your Synology has access for the local folder, also for a shared folder. Also, in this video, we're going to show how you can integrate Synology Drive. In this way, if you're on holidays and you want to back up all your pictures for your camera principally, you can copy everything for your computer and that this one will allow auto backup to your Synology NAS. This will be really interesting if you work with photos and that you don't need to wait for you be back to copy everything back in a way that uh, uh, other people can edit these pictures in your return time. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So, before we start to explain how you can set up this knowledge in us, we're going to understand what kind of system that I'm using. If you look here, my screen hits this Synology NAS that I create only for this video. This one is running in a virtual machine. So maybe the speed is not exactly the same that you use for all your Synology NAS. Also, here I didn't do any configuration. It's basically a standard machine. Only thing that I create, if I come here in my control panel and user, I create a user called Alan and my admin called Cyberlab. Also, in the same configuration, I come here for external access and I activate this enable click connect. And this quick click connect will allow you to have access external for your network, but not necessarily that you need to have this activate in order to have external access. You can use the proxy manager and all these applications to manage this SSL certification. So here, First thing that we're gonna need to do is install Synology Photos in order to start to configure it. So I come here in Pack Center and I will look for Photos. In Photos, they will already appear Synology Photos and I will put Install. So now this one will take some minutes until they download, install. So let's wait. Once that they install, we can go for the next step. Before you start to use this Synology Photos, what I suggest you should do, you come here in Users and Advanced and activate this option. This option means that they will create a folder called Homes and each user will be their own Homes or own folder. In this way, if I come here, Homes, I will have one home for each user and each user will be able to access their own pictures and will save their own data. This one is more for privacy and it's really interesting if you're running with uh, photos and will have a local and share location for all the group or all the users for your NAS. So once that I install my Synology Photos, I can open it. First time that you open the Synology Photos, basically we have no pictures and nothing. What we can do, we can upload some pictures. You have two options. You can come here and your user, you can add the pictures inside this folder photos and you can define the way that you want to organize or you come here and copy these pictures here. It means that they will upload by the web browser and after a few minutes they will start to copy these pictures here according from what has been configured. So they will sort by year. If I can see here, once that they finish to review and index it, I'll have all my pictures. One thing interesting that you need to see that I have two pictures exactly the same. I did it proposally because one of those, if I come here info, it's saved as a JPEG. If I go for the next picture, exactly the same, it's saved as a RAW file. And if you look, this RAW file has 34 megabytes compared for my 10 megabytes for my JPEG. It means that the RAW file have much more information and this reason is big. Not necessarily the size is big, but the amount of information available in it, it's higher. So now I have my pictures and I can access it, but only the user Cyber Lab can use it. And if I come here and select those, let's put got it, and select those pictures, I can create some albums. So if I come here, add an album, and I will create an album called Today's Date and put Enter. Now I have my album here that has been created. 
and if you look I don't have so many information only thing that I have it's place where I took my pictures and this one was in Paris and this picture has highlight using the geolocation otherwise you will not know exactly where I am one thing that's interesting for you activate of course will use a little bit of your capacity you come here settings and you activate these two options it means that uh, now they will have uh, two extra targets and one will be related for people and other one will be related for subject because all those pictures you cannot see properly face on it will be zero for people but will have more information for the subject i know i'm not sure what they're going to show as a subject but once that they finish process they will show here so in this case they show as a transportation and if i open here they will appear all the information that they think that's related from the transportation now i have my synology photos but not exactly the way that i expect because only this user has access for my pictures and no one else what can i do i can come here in my server lab settings share and enable the share it means that they will create a folder called photos inside my Synology and that this one will be shared for more users. But as a standard, only the users that's allowed to have access for this folder will have access for this folder. So if I come back here in my Synology and come here for my control panel, share folders, they will appear this Synology photos. And these photos will be where we're going to centrate or keep all the share pictures with all the users. So I come here in photos and I can come here in edit and I can define permissions. So if I wanted that more than one user access it, I can come here and put read and write. Otherwise, other users will not have permission to read or write or see at all this information. And I put save. Remember, this user will be able to access using the Synology photos or through the Samba or through the uh, file system but uh, nothing else at this stage what else we need to do we need to permit that uh, this user have access for my Synology no photos and this one is really important otherwise he will have access for the share folder but not uh, for Synology photos so once that you, you permit uh, this user to have access for this folder we need to permit that user has access for the application that will manage this folder so I have two options. I can come here in my user, select the user, edit it, application, select the application that I want to permit it, or simply I can go here in my application privileges, select the application that I want, in my case it's Synology Photos, edit, and I will permit that this Alan will have access for it. Other thing, I need to permit him to have access for my drive, otherwise they will not be able to upload the pictures as I proposed initially. So once that finished to do this initial configuration, we can come here back in my Synology photos and now I have this option. I can select my share space or select my personal space. It means that my personal space, all the information will be here, it's only related for my personal information. It means that no one have access it unless I come here in album and I put it to share this album. Otherwise, they will not be able to do anything. So if we come here in photos and my share space, everything that I upload in my share space will be not destined to my specific folder, but yes, in this specific folder called photos. So if I open here photos, open library, here they start to upload my pictures, the same ones that I upload before. And here, soon I will be able to access it. But at the moment, this user is still don't have access because to habilitate this option for share, you need to do three configuration. First, you need to enable this user to have access for the folder photos. Second one, you need to enable that user have access for the application photos. And the last time, or the last configuration, you need to come here, settings, share space, and permit that the user has access for this share space. So we'll put set permissions, and here I read add as a full. Otherwise, I can get some customized information, and I can say he will have permission to read, not to delete or not to edit. In my case, I want full and put next, and now this user have uh, those information, can access the folders, can modify, and can upload either for the mobile. If I want that those pictures have any kind of AI recognition as well, I need to come here and share and I need to enable, enable. 
If I put here allowed all the guests, it means that everyone that is set in my network, they will be able to edit, access and do anything. So I'll put save and that in this way, I will have those options specifically for all the pictures that is shared with me. Now that we finish to configure my photos, I need to configure it in such a way that I can backup automatically using the Synology Drive. How can I do it? I come here and come in my Synology Drive admin console. Here will be an overview for everything that's going on with your Synology Drive. If I come here in client, they will show a list of all the clients that connect. Log will be a list of all the information that log, but what we want to look is this team folder. This team folder will be more than only the specific users, they will have access for others folders inside this drive. So in this way, we come here in photos and enable it. We can select how many revisions that we want. Of course, if you download, delete, download, delete a lot of pictures, these revisions will use a lot of free space because they will create snapshots. So I can come here and put OK. And now they have uh, share folders. I will only be able to access this folder if that specific user has a permission to access this specific folder. So remember it. Now, now, now what we can do, we can open our Synology drive. To do it, we come here and open our Synology drive. And here in my Synology drive, I have my drive where I have all the pictures that I just upload. Also, I have my team folder. This team folder is what we want to configure it because all the users have access to it, different for only my drive that only me have access to it. So, I have two options to install this out update or out uh, backup. You can come here and download it or you can go directly in this knowledge website and download. For me, it's much easier, I only download it and then you need to install this application. Once that you install, you have this view where you can start. Here you can put your domain if you're using Proxy Manager or you can use your Quick Connect ID. In my case, we'll put Sauber Lab, that's my Quick Connect ID, my user Sauber Lab and my password. Once that uh, the connection is done correctly, I have two options. First is the sync, the second one is backup. Backup is really interesting if you want to copy everything for a computer in your server, in your NAS and keep that information there. But in our case, we're going to sync. So we're going to sync it. We select where or what we want to collect. So we'll come here in folder, photos and put OK. So everything that inside these photos will sync for my drive. And now I can create where it will sync. In my case, I can leave as a Synology drive. I can enable this on demand or not enable. If I put to sync, it means that the information for one side go for another side and vice versa. And that's uh, if I put on demand, it means that they will upload for the, your NAS and after this one, they will remove for a computer. If you want to access these pictures after without internet, you're not going to be able to do it. But if you want to save space and keep this copy in your NAS and only access when you want, you can leave this option on. So in our case, we leave this option on and put done. Now they apply this information and if I open my browser, I have this option for photos. If I open this photos, I have access for everything that I do it. Before I try to do the backup, so they will create my path for my backup. But in our case, we wanted to have access for this one. And here we'll have all the pictures that I have. Remember, those pictures when I appear this cloud, it means that's in the cloud. And you only be able to open it once that you click, they will download. And once they load, will be able to see it. It means that everything that you put in this specific folder, they will upload automatically. And this one, it's inside the photos. If you don't have internet at the moment, they will not upload, but once that you connect the internet, they will upload as per demand. Other thing, you can modify it or define the rules. If you come here in rules, you can come here in sync mode and you can have two ways. You can only download the date or only upload the date. It means that if you have more information, you can upload everything, but they will only keep the pictures that you decide to keep there. Also, do leave all the information that you leave your computer there in the server. So you don't need to worry that if you delete your computer, it will delete your server. So I suggest you leave these options. Remember, once that you select this one, this on demand will disappear. So you're going to have this picture all time in your computer. You can put continue and that they will have only one way. 
If you always want to download, you can select the opposite way or sync for both sides. So in this way, we show how you can configure your Synology Photos either for share or local drivers, users. Also, I show you how you can backup all the information for your share. The same process can be done if you want to do for your specific folder, only for a only user. But you can decide, depending if you have more users, you can put a share. If you don't have more users, you can put only one location. So guys, we're arriving at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you next time. Bye.